It's been a tale of two types of retirement savers this year. Many of those saving for retirement have been waiting patiently for their portfolios to climb back up from losses that started in 2022. Although their 401k balances haven't fully recovered, returns are up by double digits from a year ago. Other 401k savers have been smacked around by inflation. Feeling they had no other recourse, they have been tapping their retirement funds. It's been a better investing year for some and a challenge for others. As it does every quarter, Fidelity Investments, one of the largest managers of workplace plans, looked at savings behaviors and balances for the more than 45 million individual, 401k and 403b retirement accounts it manages. The most recent, third quarter results were a mix of positive and concerning findings. The average 401k balance dropped to $107,700, down 4% from the previous quarter. The average 403b account decreased 5% to $97,200, while IRAs were down 4% to $109,600. We did have a little bit of market uncertainty in Q3 which contributed to the balances being down a bit for the quarter, said Mike Shamrell, Vice President of Thought Leadership for Fidelity's Workplace Investing Division. It's the group that works with employers. However, taking a longer view, on average, 401k and 403b balances jumped 11% year over year. IRA accounts were up by 8%. The other good news is that the total savings rate for the third quarter, a combination of employee and employer contributions, was 13.9%, up slightly from a year ago. We found that people are still contributing consistently to their retirement accounts, Shamral said. We did not see people pulling back on their contribution rates. Here's another good sign. Employers continue providing matches to employee contributions. A lot of times when there's market uncertainty, there have historically been some employers who dialed back a little bit on their match, Shamrell said. But there were some worrisome financial moves by retirement plan participants. Most concerning were retirement plan loans and hardship withdrawals, where Fidelity reported an uptick. In service, withdrawals subject to taxes and an early withdrawal penalty also rose. Inflation and cost of living pressures drove those jumps, according to Fidelity. In the third quarter, 2.8% of retirement plan participants took a loan from their 401k, up slightly from 2.4% in the same period a year ago. The percentage of workers with outstanding loans was 17.6%, up from 16.8% in the third quarter of 2022. Some employers allow workers to take distributions without hardship, but this, in service, withdrawal can be costly. The money is subject to income taxes, and if the worker is under 59 and a half years old, there could be an additional 10% penalty. Fidelity said 3.2% of 401k participants took an in-service withdrawal in the third quarter, up from 